In baseball, it's kind of like a trend to hate umpires, although I don't think trend is the right word to use, considering most of the hate that goes umpires' ways is incredibly valid. Maybe universal agreement? That's probably a better term to use. But anyway, umpires are hated for two big reasons. For one, they are bad and inconsistent at making the right calls, especially with balls and strikes. And number two, they like to go on power trips and act like the fans go to games to watch them rather than the players. And as a result, do incredibly ridiculous things like egg players on and bait them so they can eject them. It's pretty absurd. Dan Bellino made the news earlier this season after intentionally ejecting Madison Bumgarner. And yes, I'm going to say intentionally because that's what it was. He stared him down and did a foreign substance check on him that was way too long, knowing that it would get on Mad Bum's nerves, and the moment Bumgarner said something about it, Bellino threw him out of the game. I can't make an umpire video without an Angel Hernandez cameo. Angel Hernandez is of course the king of bad umpires. He perfectly embodies the two things everyone hates about umpires. He's bad at his job, and he has a huge ego for literally no reason at all. Oh yeah, and he also thinks MLB doesn't like him because of racism. Not because he's bad at his job and likes to go on power trips. It's all about the evil white men who run MLB like the chief baseball development officer Tony Regans. Anyway, as you can probably tell by now, I will not hesitate to call out and criticize umpires for doing a bad job, just like everyone else does, and I'm going to continue to do as such. But with that said, I would be a hypocrite if I didn't cover the good umpires in this game, the ones who do a great job. It's pretty rare, I know, but they're out there, and the latest great umpire performance took place in this past world series between the Astros and Phillies. It wasn't just great though, it was perfect. On Twitter, there is a wonderful account called Umpire Scorecards, and what it does is actually take actual data from each umpire's balls and strikes performance and pretty much tells you everything about it. Let's take a little look at the different things it actually tells you according to the performance. It tells you who the umpire's missed calls actually favored between the two teams. In this case, in Game 5, Jordan Baker actually cost both teams in the negatives with his missed calls, as you can see here that the Astros were minus 0.02, but had an overall advantage of the missed calls as compared to the Phillies, because the Phillies were minus 0.14. So both teams were screwed, the Phillies just got screwed over more. It shows you the exact missed balls and strikes calls the umpires of the night missed over here. As you can see, there were six that night in game five, calling strikes on three different pitches that were out of the zone, and called balls on three different pitches that caught part of the strike zone. It shows the most impactful missed calls during the game, and then of course the overall accuracy and the overall consistency of that night's umpire. This is Jordan Baker's card for Game 5. To compare, Pat Hoberg's card from Game 2 was 100. 100% 100 accurate. That's not a mistake. He was perfect throughout the entire game. All 129 taken pitches he called were the correct calls. If you go back and look at some of the calls during the game, some of them may actually look like they were outside of the zone when he called them strikes, but Close Call Sports perfectly gave an explanation for this. What the TV uses is called pitch cast, and it's actually not entirely accurate. On this Ryan Presley pitch, for example, Hober called it a strike when it looks like it's outside of the TV box, but the post-game computer shows that it's very well inside of the strike zone as you can see here. So Pat Holberg really was perfect in Game 2 of the World Series, so good that even the announcers took notice and gave him props. Typically, or really all of the time, whenever an umpire's name is more recognized or known, it's because he's horrible at his job and everyone knows about him because they hate him. But in this circumstance, people, a lot of people, seem to start knowing who Pat Holberg was, and it was for all the right reasons. This may be one of if not the first times this has ever really happened, at least on a big stage like the World Series. Like, when does an umpire get a lot of good publicity? Serious question. So not all umpires are bad. A lot of them are, but not all. And Pat Hoberg proved that in Houston. Shout out Pat Hoberg, the goat of umpires for the time being as far as I'm concerned.